Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another day of Bugmas. Today we have giant centipede. So this is day four of Bugmas 2016. If you missed the previous days, I should put the links down below and I shall put also the playlist from last year's Bugmas as well. All right, let's go ahead and see what's inside this bag. Based on the picture, this looks a lot like mukare, which is a Japanese word for a type of centipede that you can sometimes find in your house. We actually found one in our apartment when we lived in Japan. The bite is actually quite painful, as my husband found out. Similar to a bee sting, if you are allergic to the venom, it can be potentially life-threatening. Because their exoskeletons are so hard, you can't just squash them. You have to actually drop them into boiling water. At any rate, I learned a little bit about the fauna of Japan while eliminating the mukare, and I'm curious to see if this at all is similar. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so most of the time these are reflective on both sides, like this packet right here. This one is clear. Can you see that? Okay, let me show you what this centipede looks like, my friends. Holy smokes. This is gnarly. I'm not usually affected by these insects, but this is, this is a big, big critter. Check this out. Wow. Wow, yeah. This actually looks very similar to the mukare that I exterminated in Japan, although this one is much thicker. This one looks a little bit wider in terms of its body, but about the same length and similar kind of sharp pointy legs. Yep, and there, this looks very similar in the bottom. See these big, big, big pincers? Yep, that's what it looked like. And it is very, very crunchy. It has a smell and smells slightly toxic. It smells a bit like Raid and leather. Well, besides the size of this, what I also find worrisome is how hard this is. Like, against my palm. Look at the size of that. In terms of shock factor, I think this is right up there with the water bug that I had last year. <laughs> I was just really surprised at how large the thing was. And uh, yeah, let's see how it tastes. Itadakimasu. definitely tastes better than it smells. It does still taste residually of Raid, which is worrisome. I don't know what Raid tastes like. It tastes a little bit medicinal, slightly bitter, a little bit like dirt, and kind of leathery. I was pleasantly surprised by the crunch. It's a lot crunchier than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be really hard and difficult to get through, but it wasn't. It's not bad at all. It does leave a livery aftertaste, which I don't find exactly pleasant, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I don't think I'll be snacking on any giant centipedes in the near future, but I'm glad I tried it. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Tune in tomorrow for the last day of Bugmas. Follow me on social media, share this video with your friends, like this video so I know you like this video series, and yeah, I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye, happy holidays. <laughs>